the joy to see This ain't gonna be long either. This is like a girl's type slash life update. Um, so life been life been life been crazy. Um, yeah, y'all see me with the lip gloss, and y'all see me. That means getting hot, y'all. Cause my lip already burning, but y'all see me doing the lip gloss stuff. That's been going really good. I've been making new lip glosses. I recorded my last little video. Y'all was making lip gloss. I gotta get better with my thumbnails, cause right now they look kitty as fuck. Cause I'm like, ugh, I don't be taking no thumbnail before. Like, I just want to upgrade my phone and like get my camera. That's when I'm gonna start being into it for real, but. I'm going to try to do better thumbnails. So y'all could be like, okay, let me click on this. Instead of be like, nah, this bitch playing. Let me not click on it. But other than that, lip gloss, yes. Clothing brand, that's in the works. Some merch is coming out soon. Um, I'm going to Other than that, i just been chilling, y'all. We need to really talk about what's been going on. And like what I've been doing for real, for real. Not far as like dating and stuff, but job wise, we gotta get into that. Um, let's get into this job stuff. I don't see my gum out so I can talk all the way. Let's get into this job. This job T. So basically, recently I had quit my morning job that I was working full time. It was just a lot of stuff going on. I didn't mind working with the people or nothing. Like, I was cool with the majority of them. It was just a lot of stuff going on. Um, me and my co-worker was unhappy with certain stuff and... Like, we'll, we would talk about it and we'll, like, explain it to them. But, like, it was, like, never really getting through. Or, like, how can I say it? They would be like, oh, we finna have a meeting soon. We finna have this. We have finna have that. And it's like, we ain't have a meeting. It's been, like, a whole year. Like, we ain't have, like, no real sit-down meeting. Everybody individually, like, talking and explaining about what they want to work on, what they want to change. So, I'm just like, yo, like, it's becoming too long. Um, I need more money. Now, we didn't discuss raises only because we thought we were going to get a raise back in January. But she had changed. And we was understanding. Like, I was just chilling about it. But recently, like, during the summer, I wasn't making my regular amount. Even though I thought the summer was going to be, like, real busy and shit. I'm like, damn. Why am I making what I made in fall and spring? Da da da. Okay, maybe it's not gonna be like that. And I was like, okay. I had got the help. I was fine. I was chilling. Then fall came, and I'm just like, damn, this really being the same. This this the same shit, or or worse. Like they don't went back to school. People was not really trying to go out to eat like that. And if they are going out to eat, they're dining in, but they're not doing no to-go stuff. So I'm just like, damn. 
where do I play a part in this? Like, and my parents always told me or asked me, why you don't talk about um, trying to serve or this and that? I just didn't want to, like, be in the middle of all that. Like, I wanted to stay in my own lane. I didn't necessarily, like, want to dibble and dabble and be back and forth doing both because when you do so when you serve serving they only they get a low amount when um to go get like an hourly so their checks like my checks every two weeks is way bigger than theirs so i'm just like i like just getting my little checks and having to be able to get tips here and there when i can or whatever but the tips was just getting lower 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 and lower and i'm like what is going on? One day, went home with seven dollars in tips. Seven dollars. I said, "Oh no." I'm like, I'm just thinking, like, "Oh no, this is not gonna work." Then it was getting in the twenties. Then it moved back up to forties, fifties, sixties. Like, I was never making my hundred dollars no more. And I was like, "What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on?" I'm like, no, nah, like, these people not tipping. I just felt like I was just having an attitude. Like, in the past couple of months, like, it had got worse than what it normally was. Like, then I was like, okay, I'll ask around, like, my coworkers, how do y'all, like, deal with stress? How do y'all deal with people talking to y'all rude? Like, how do y'all react to stuff like that? Like, I was asking around because I'm like, I need to work on myself. Like, I don't want to be so mad at the world that that's what's making me not get the money that i need but other than that like even if i did have a good attitude or if i was smiling or something they still wasn't tipping they put a big ass zero on there or i had got a point i had got to the point where people was putting cash on the thing it wasn't even leaving cash i'm like y'all niggas is crazy uh-uh so i'm like what is going on like why is people treating me like this like what am i doing like what do i look like like what is happening? Everybody around me, they was getting money, niggas getting tables, like they was living it up. I'm like, I was telling my coworker, I do not like to sit here and look around and us sitting here at this table and everybody making money around us and we just sitting here. Like nobody like, oh, can you do this table for me? Can you get this for me? Like I give you a tip out or something. Like it was to the point where I was just sitting there like, no, like I can't keep doing this. Like this ain't working. But I also wanted to stay because I like socializing and I like I got cool with the people that I work with and it was like literally three, four people that I would still talk to outside of that place. So I'm like, I don't wanna leave y'all and then I was there for so long, like I was one of the original people, so I was like, Oh, I'm gonna say like we finna be lit, the fall finna change, like the new store from the open, maybe I can go to a new store and like serve or whatever. I never even got a chance to bring it up for real like that's how crazy it got so let's go to the point where i quit recently like last week um it was another slow day it was a saturday and it was just to the point where it was slow as fuck it was like one o'clock and we were both sitting there on our phones mind you i've been on my phone way more recently because it's like there's no orders or if there's one or two orders like even the office order stopped the big catering orders that we used to get stopped I'm like where is everybody at and where is the money because that's what i'm coming here for i'm coming here okay it's cool cock in get my hourly but i'm also coming here to get some tips like them tips i spend on a daily like that's what i was doing with it and when i was getting a lot in um what you call it the spring and you know, the um fall slash winter time i was stacking it up i had my little drawer my little um bucket it was getting full i was like yes i got me some cash i'm like oh yeah i like this shit like it was cool i'll put my friends on to this job and everything else so i'm like yeah my friend left after we got back from miami i'm like <sighs> she left before they even they even could fire her so i was like damn like once people started to see to get fired or like quitting i was like why y'all leaving what y'all doing this for what y'all and i was just so like oh i like it like i was settling for that and i was like 
I can't keep settling like I'm trying to buy a camera, I'm trying to get a new phone, I'm trying to get a car, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that, I wanna be influenced one influencer one day, like I need more money coming through. Yeah, I'm doing whatever I need to do. Plus right now since I don't have a car, I either you know, ride with my friends, ride with my family, or lift. And lifts cost who finna be behind lifts for the rest of their life, not me. So I was just like, oh no, I can't buy no lifts. I can't keep doing this. Like, motherfuckers leaving left and right. I, I felt like everybody there was getting lifts. And I'm like, damn, like, none of us got no car around here. But back to the story about me leaving. It was just a Saturday. It was 1 o'clock. We only had made $20 together. Together. So I that mean, means at the end of the ship, we was going to split 10 and 10. We never made just $10 a piece on a Saturday, ever. So I'm really looking around like, what is happening? Like, I'm thinking to myself like, how can I change? How can I keep saying I want to change and I want something different if I'm not doing nothing about it? So I'm like, get the fuck up. <laughs> so something came over me and i think that was god giving me a sign because i used to be like praying in the shower praying when i get up and go before i go to sleep like praying throughout the day like god please send me a sign tell me if this is the right thing that i need to be doing or if i need to move on and just do something else like i could still talk to the people if i wanted to and i could still go there and eat like it wasn't a big deal but i was like okay just ask to go home because at this point you're not making no money it's slow and you can let shawty had a ten the twenty dollars we wasn't getting nothing else. It was already 1 o'clock and it was basically damn near time to go. We leave around 2.30. So I was like, it is for me slow for the next couple of um minutes. So I'm like, fuck that. I'm ready to go. So I was like, oh no. Like, okay, let me ask around. Can I go home? So I asked the first manager, he was like, oh, let me go check the doll. I was like, okay. But I was just asking. Then I asked the second manager, he was like, why? And I was like, um, it's slow. Like, normally, um, my team lead, she would let us go. And she'll send me home quick, quick in a hurry. And I used to get upset and, like, a little mad about it. Because I was like, okay, we're literally not doing nothing. Like, I'm on my phone playing music at this point and um my co-worker next to me is literally watching a game on her phone like i'm like oh no we gotta do something else so i was like you fine with staying like let's see if one of us can go home type thing she's like okay i don't mind because she only worked on the weekends anyway so i was like i don't work a couple of days already so hmm, you can have it and i was like okay it might not be as bad if i ask to go home because i didn't think nothing of it like it was going to be like my last day or like so I was going to be bad about it. So back to when I asked the second manager, he was like, why? And I was just like, it's slow. Normally one of us go home early anyway. And if we're slow, that means the cooks in the back that cook our to-go food is not doing anything either. So I'm like, okay, let me ask. So I didn't finish the conversation with him because he was just like, oh, hold on type thing. So I was like, uh, they going to try to get me to stay the whole time. And I'm like, I don't mind if I was doing something. If I'm not doing nothing, if I'm sitting in the same spot, okay, cool, that's free money. But obviously, you don't need us running up the time and um, having a labor high if we're not making no money. Or if y'all not even making no sales in to go right now. So I was just like, fuck it. Everybody around us making money. I'm just ready to go. So my body said, get up, go ask. If not, still go. Because you serve your purpose here. You serve the year here. And you got the experience. You got the customer service experience. You got all the skills and stuff that you needed for this point. And moving forward, now you need to put your skills elsewhere. So, I'm like, fuck it. I asked the third manager. He like, oh, what's wrong? Da -da -da. I'm like, oh, it's, it's slow. Like, we're not doing nothing. I'm like, it's time to go. Like, he was like, okay, let me go talk to what you call it. Why I went to call it, get mad, 
slams the tray down and has a whole attitude. I literally asked to go home. You could have said no. Y'all need to clean up. Y'all need to do this. Y'all need to do that. Literally, I would have been fine with getting a no at this point. If I got to do another position or help out somewhere else, I could have fucking rolled civil war for all I care. As long as I was up doing something, I just felt like I wasn't being productive at all. And I'm just like, if the owner was there, she would have said, y'all bored? Y'all not doing nothing? Oh, y'all could go. So I'm just trying to think, why are you getting mad? What was that for? So I'm like, oh... You want to get mad? Like, you want to do all this extra stuff? So, he goes to my coworker and says something in her ear. And then walk past me and say, don't worry about coming in tomorrow. I'm like... So, that automatically set it off for me. Because I'm like, first off, you're not going to talk to me because you're upset. You're not going to talk to me like that because you're upset. And your first... Your second... Second of all, I'm not going to be petty either. Because I literally asked you, you could have said, hell no, go clean this, go do that. You could have had me on your clock. But you wanted to have an attitude and tell me don't come in. I'm like, oh, I'll help you out. I'm done. <laughs> so I'm like, bet. Like, you did that with everybody else. That's why everybody else was quitting. You're the problem. So I'm just like, I don't feel like dealing with this. And plus, the next couple of weeks probably would have been hell. I probably would have just been getting fussed at for no reason or somebody would have had an attitude towards me because I was trying to leave. Like, it was just too much. And I'm like, niggas call out, niggas ask to go home. Y'all cut people all the time as far as servers and shit go. Why y'all was getting mad when I wanted to do it or when I was just ready to go? We wasn't making no money. Why are you holding me hostage? So I'm like, but so I got home I was like slick irritated I wasn't on the fence of why I was mad as fuck because I really didn't care and I still went home with no money besides the hourly that I had worked so I'm like yo like I'm just trying to sit here and think about why the fuck he got mad the way he did and I'm like that's on him like he'll have to figure it out for real now because now I'm fucking done and I didn't expect him to get mad like that or try to use one of them moves on me only because I been there since y'all open. I was filling in those spots in the roles of people who was quitting and um, leaving and getting fired around me. Um, I was there the whole time. I took, what, two to three weekends off at the most because one was my birthday, one was my best friend's birthday. And then it would it might have been Thanksgiving last year. Like I barely took off, and recently, like a weekend before or something like that, I had called out because I was literally not feeling good. I was feeling like shit. Then that same week I quit. I came from the hospital and I was still at your job working. When I could have been like, oh, I'm definitely not feeling good. Like I was not feeling good. I had to take strong ass medicine. They prescribed me perks. Like. I was in pain so I'm just like I'm still coming here sitting up in y'all face and I'm not feeling good and I'm ready to go home on Saturday and you tell me not to come in the next day okay. new job it is that really didn't stop nothing like it is what it is I'm getting I'm getting me a full-time job with some benefits anyway very very soon and i also got something else on the side so i did just leave where i didn't have anything else like i still have something else on the side so that was none of their business but i'm just saying i'm just like yo some people like need to just watch who watch who they talk to and how they talk to people period because it's like don't dish out that and then when somebody dish it back now they're leaving you with the mess that you made so it's like i wish them nothing but the best and that's it like i didn't want to quit that day but you're not gonna make me feel like shit because i'm ready to go no 
No, ma'am. It's way... It's too much money out here. Like, it got to the point where I was selling lip gloss at their job. Like, I was advertising my businesses and my my stuff at y'all job so I can make me some extra money. Like, it got to that point. Mm -mm. I was like, I gotta sell lip gloss at the job just to get some extra cash in my pocket. Because obviously these motherfucking people in Congress don't like the tip. You're alright. And not talk about that fucking job though. Like it is what it is. Wish them best of luck. I'm good over here. We need to talk about these niggas. Y'all we need to talk about. Y'all the hookah flavor be tasting nasty at a certain point. Especially when it burns. And I could take one cold off so I won't be like burnt. But I don't have a cup and no water to dump the coal off with. Unless I fill the bowl up. But I honestly do not want the bowl to fucking burn through and the coal be everywhere on the floor or something. Y'all, I gotta wrap it up because my phone and my iPad is full of storage. So that's what I need to work on this week. It's giving me a new phone with some more storage and working on giving me a camera. But yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and I'll put a part two, and we'll have better flavors for this hookah, too. But, y'all, this is the Color Changing Lip Gloss. I'm about to upload it soon after I get my labels and my tools and stuff ready so I can launch this lip gloss and the pink one. This pink one. And, yeah, y'all better look out for my merch as well. And follow me on TikTok, Kelly Killer, and follow me on Instagram at Kelly Blow Stacks with two S's. Peace.